So green. So what, you know, everybody talks about green as being, you know, number one and the favorite. I think it is for several reasons. First, I did learn that uh, Qing Long of the Qing dynasty, this emperor found this fabulous green and that was it. He wanted everything in green, everything. His buttons, his cups, his writing utensils, plates, everything was cut out of green jadeite. His pillow, even his, he slept on a jade pillow in a jade bed. Is that, is that not crazy? It's crazy. And from then on, <laughs> it was just green was to be it. So that really started with him, I think. However, I think more commonly now is that we tend to find more rough in green. Uh, I don't think they find the same quantities of the rough in red and yellow and lavender and all that. Um, so I think green and green was just more traditional, even though red is one of the most major colors in Chinese culture. So red is very important. Uh, but in terms of jade, I do think a lot of it is the rough material that is found. We do tend to find, especially in the finer qualities. Originally, it, it was a symbol of springtime and renewal, growth. Um, it is also very calming and balancing, which I thought, of course, is very positive. More modern um, symbolism is prosperity, health, and harmony. Each color has is associated with an element in in earth the earth elements so uh green is wood i i do love the idea of connecting jade to the elements because you can really see in so many cultures especially the chinese but guatemalan as well you know in, during the mayan civilizations and all over the world this this reverence for jade and it was always seemingly elevated to this status above other materials, above any other gemstone, any metal, any anything else. And as if as if it's a category of its own. And I think that that really says a lot, not just about different cultures deference, you know, to this material, but literally how useful it was and how much of a part of their lives it was Going back thousands of years, jade was used in tools and in relics and for cooking and for like weapons. And it was this huge part yeah. of their back life. Back to Neolithic times. Absolutely. Absolutely. So then when they found even brighter material, they couldn't even believe it and wanted to make everything they could out of it. And of course, the emperors found amazing pieces. Yeah. And they're like, how is this like the best, toughest, like, most amazingly useful gemstone yes. and also this beautiful, like yes. what is happening here? Yes. It's such an exceptional stone. You know, gold has value, but jade is priceless. And that's really says everything about how the Chinese and the East feel about jade. 